perfume pop-up store. How can I help you? Looking for a perfume? Mm-hmm. Okay. Anything specific? You're just looking around. All right. You do want some information about some perfumes? Okay. Well, since we are a pop-up store, we don't have every full-size product, but I do have a little basket here. We have two full-size products and few samples. Would you like me to just go through them? Okay. Would you like to start with the full products or the samples? Full products? Okay, all right. I'm just going to grab first full product item. It is the Daisy Dream Mark Jacobs. Let me just open it for you so you can see what it looks like. There you go. So, as you can see, this has been used already because this is our tester from the store. I will quickly grab my little pouch with my test strips in them. Then we can just open it up. Okay. Let it develop a bit. Okay, take a step. Mm hmm. Yeah. Okay. Do you know about base notes, middle notes, and top notes? Mm -hmm. Okay, so a top note is the fragrance or the smell that you smell first. So you spritz on the perfume and it's the smell that comes to you first. Then you wear it throughout the day, your perfume adjusts to your skin because it also smells different on a paper than it does on the skin. So if you're sure about one, we have to test it on the skin so you like it still. Okay, so a middle note comes up when you've worn your perfume throughout the day. And your base note is the smell that stays the longest. So that's the smell that you will keep smelling for like 10 to 12 hours or so. Meanwhile, the top note and the middle note will disappear after a while. Mm -hmm. So, with the Daisy Dream of Marc Jacobs, we say it's a fruity, floral, fresh fragrance. So, a lot of fruitiness, a lot of floral smells. Starting off with the fruity in the top notes. So the moment you spray it on, you can smell it as well. Yeah, there you have blackberry, pear, a bit of grapefruit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, throughout the day, if you'd wear it, you'd smell like a lychee jasmine. And then the smell that stays the longest, the base note, is like a musk, white wood, coconut fragrance. Mm -hmm. It's a very welcoming perfume as well. This one. It's chosen a lot because it's very light. It's not a perfume when a person walks by that you're like, whoa, what is she wearing? It's very subtle, but very nice to wear all day. I also use this one quite a lot. Okay, what I like to do when there's a customer who doesn't really know what perfume they want yet, I write down the name of each smell or each fra fragrance that we tested. So this is the Daisy Dream. Oops. And then you still know at the end which ones you want to re-smell or the one that you eventually want to buy. You don't need to buy anything, you can choose that completely by yourself. Okay, moving on then to the second full-size product that I brought, which is the Pure Excess by Paco Rabanne. This is not an everyday wear 
or at least not for most people because it's a very strong smell, very vanilla-like, very sweet. Um, and Paco Rabanne launched this in 2018 or so. The full-size product, because this is like a smaller, this is a one fluid ounce, 30 milliliters, but you also want 100 milliliters, I guess. And that one also has like a snake draped around the bottle, but you can look on the website and you'll, then you'll find the information there as well. Let me grab one of my test strips. Oops, where is... it's very difficult to see. Let it develop a bit. The smells will <laughs> combine, so it's possible that you won't be able to smell all of them perfectly today, but that's all right. You can also just like let the smell sit a bit and then come back in a few days. Okay, so this is the Paco Rabanne Pure Excess. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can Im immediately smell. It's way stronger than the Daisy. If you compare, this is Daisy Dream. Write down the pure excess already. Then you can really smell the difference, right? This one's way stronger, yes. It starts with amber florals and a sweet vanilla undertow. And then throughout the day, most people say they smell popcorn, sweet or salty. And I do say what I do see what they mean by that. Um, but yeah, it is a very sensual smell, so most clients use this uh, when they have a date night or when they go to a specific event or something when they want to smell good and like very how do i say it like very out there people always smell you if you walk by it's not with the daisy dream that they're like oh yeah she smells nice but with the pure excess they're really going to think whoa she's a very strong fragrance there but if that's what you prefer it's a very nice perfume to have. I'll put your samples to the side and then you can always smell whenever you want to, okay? Okay. Moving on into some samples that I brought. You can find the full-size products on our website. This is the Scandal by Jean-Paul Gaudier. And I picked this one because it's similar to the Pure Excess, but not fully. This one has more honey sweet uh, fragrance to it, and the Pure Excess is more floral sweet. Jean Paul Gaultier uh, launched this in 2017, so it's a perfume that has been on the market for a few few years already, but it's still very loved and new, newer, like, newer additions are coming out as well. Oh. There we go. There you go. Yeah, it still has to develop a bit. Mm hmm Yeah, so you notice the comparison to the pure excess. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can smell again if you want. Yeah, exactly. So people say that throughout the day they wear kind of the same. So the pure excess one has like a popcorn base note, um, and the uh, scandal <laughs> has a caramel licorice base note. So it's the same type of five, the same sweetness, but this one starts more like with blood orange with mandarin and goes through honey and orange and a bit of jasmine and peach throughout the day. And then you end off with that sweet note again of the pure excess. I prefer the pure excess, I don't know why, because I also love scandal, but it's honestly personal preference. Just write that down for you. Scandal. Mm 
-hmm. Momentarily, we stayed in like the sweeter type of perfumes. But I also brought some um, different smells so that you can compare a bit. I have, for example, the Aqua Allegoria Forte Mandarin Basilic, Basilic by Guerlain Paris. It's obviously a French perfume, <laughs> hence the pronunciation. On the inside, you can also see what the bottle looks like. As you can see, it's very chic, I think. Yes, with the Scandal one, they've done it too. So it's very, like, known for this accent on top. The woman legs with the high heels. Very scandalous, hence the name. Um, but yeah, this one, you can already see there's like a beeswax type thing on the top here. On top of the lid. I'm going to grab I'll just get them out of the bag, that's way easier. There we go. This one is way more citrusy. It literally smells like mandarin. Let me just put that back. Mm -hmm. Hence the name, Mandarin Basilic. Those are the two notes of fragrance that you notice first. So mandarin, orange, basil. Maybe a little bit of cassis as well. So this is the aqua. Alegria. Mm -hmm. There we go. With a bit of wear throughout the day, you're starting to smell a bit of orange blossom, a bit of honey, a bit of Bulgarian rose, and some people also say they smell a bit of anise, anise, anise. Like licorice, but then softer. And the base notes are vanilla and sandalwood. So that wooden smell is going to stay throughout the day, and the sweetness of the honey and the orange blossom will stay for quite a while as well. But I'd say this perfume is more for summer occasions, just because it's very citrusy at first, you smell it as well. You can smell it again if you want to. So you can really, really smell the mandarin, the orange, and it's very citrusy, it's almost like you squeezed a mandarin or an orange right on top of you. That's my opinion, at least. Um, but yeah, I would recommend this one for spring or summer. Not so much winter. Maybe autumn, but... Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, seasonal perfumes are very, very common, actually. Some people really like to have a very heavy, warm perfume in winter and a very light, summery one during summer and spring season. So you don't have to stick to one fragrance the whole year. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. You want to continue? No palette cleanser needed? Okay, that's all right. <laughs> Moving on then to probably the most famous smell out of all of them. The Mistyor Rose and Roses. This one is very loved by a lot of people. I have to say, I don't understand why, because I'm more of a sweet perfume type gal, like vanilla and popcorn, etc. And not so much the very heavy rose vibe that you really, really get from this one. Yeah, you have to let it develop a little bit, but you can already smell it, right? Yeah. So the um, top notes for this one are geranium, bergamot, Italian Mandarin, and then when you come to the middle part, you actually have the, the cross rose, the damask rose, the actual rose smell, which their name also comes from, because its theme is your rose and roses. And the base note is white musk, but I feel like the rose smell 
continues to develop throughout the day as well. So I'd say the white mask and the rose stay until it's fully worn out. Mm -hmm. Let me write down a misty or... There, now it has developed a bit. You can have a sniff again. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, no, I get your vision. It's not for everyone, that's okay. That's all right. I have one more contestant. This is the Daisy by Mark Jacobs. And you might already know the name because of this one. This is the Daisy Dream and this is the normal Daisy. So a very big difference in terms of packaging as well as you can see. Here they actually put the flowers on top. Meanwhile with our Daisy Dream they put the flowers on the ball itself. advertised as playfully spirited, charmingly fun, a bubbly floral fruity that radiates a sunny and sparkling energy. And I do have to say, I can agree. It is a fragrance made in 2007 by Mark Jacobs himself, obviously. Oh, it's not coming out of my tester. There we go. And it's very florally, very fruity. It's like a violet, blood, grapefruit, strawberry that comes up first. Here. Yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. Throughout the day, where's um, where's out as like a jasmine violet uh, fragrance, and the base notes I'd say are like a woody musk, white woods, a vanilla finish. But I'm a fan of this one. It's very light again. I think the Daisy and the Daisy Dream are very suitable for everyday wear. In my opinion, let me write it down. The Daisy. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. You can completely choose if you want to take one. Or if you want to think about it a little bit, take home your samples. I almost forgot that I have one more. This is one that I don't know myself, uh, but I have it in my sample packet. So I guess this is one that we'll be trying out together. Where is the... there we go. <laughs> That's a heavy almost manly smell. Mm-hmm. Okay. Can smell it as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'd say this is like a very citrusy flavor. Flavor. Citrusy fragrance again. With a bit of a floral hint. Mm-hmm. But I feel this one is very versatile. It's very much suitable for both men and women, I'd almost say. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the first spritz was intense, but now, now it's a bit more subtle. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So I'll write that one down for you as well. This is by Cartier. And it's in Eau de Toilette. The other ones were mostly Eau de Parfums, which are a bit stronger. Oh, the toilet. Okay. Okay, so let's see. I think you have seven fragrances that you tried today. Let me just grab them all for you so you can try them out one more time, okay? Okay, so first of all, we had the very subtle, very nice daisy dream. Mm hmm Okay. No problem. Then there was the pure excess. A bit more intense. A bit more evening, date night vibes. Exactly. 
Then we had scandal. By Jean Paul Gaultier. Mm -hmm. Yeah, now you really notice the similarities between the scandal and pure excess, right? Exactly. Yeah, because they like developed a bit and now fragrances are kind of similar, hence the sweetness. Exactly. Then we have our more citrusy one. Aqua Allegoria. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very summer, very spring. We talked about that as well. Exactly. Then our very famous Mistia. Mm -hmm. Okay, alright. And then we had our Daisy. Daisy, Daisy, Daisy by Mark Jacobs. Mm hmm. Yep, yeah. okay, no problem. And then finally, we had the versatile Cartier uh, Rivière Allegresse. Is there any perfume that you'd like to try out on the skin right now? Or do you wanna... Are you like, I've had enough fragrances for today, I wanna take them home and see which ones I will eventually maybe buy or want to sample off to try out? Mm -hmm. Okay, no problem. That's alright. That's alright. I'm quickly going to package the Pure Excess. The daisy dream again. I really like the details on the daisy dream bottle. I'm going to wear a little bit right now. There we go. Because after my shift, I'm going to my boyfriend's house and he really likes this one as well. perfumes in their box um, and not like in direct sunlight because then the fragrance can change um, it can almost smell like alcoholic and expired and that's really not what you want mm -hmm. yeah I know that many people like to stall out their perfumes on like a glass plate without the boxes but actually that's not very smart so I'd recommend to not do that and just keep them in their box as they are because that's the safest and then you can enjoy the perfume way longer okay then I wish you a very nice day I hope you enjoyed this little fragrance test and maybe see you soon at Praline's pop-up perfume store all right have a great day, and maybe see you next time. Bye-bye.